Ladies and gentlemen, just because they're applauding does not, necessar does not necessarily mean that they're happy. We will find out, though. And welcome to the uh, Daily Closing Bell Report with Newsmax Editorial Director of Financial Newsletters, Jeff Yastine. And Jeff, give us the numbers, please, sir. Yeah, once again, it was not uh, a particularly good day on Wall Street today. We had the Dow down 105 points. You had the Nasdaq losing, what, 16, the S&P 500 losing 12. So, uh, you know, the, the markets were retreating, and we'll talk more about the economic data in a moment, I know, but the data was good, and I think what's going on here is that the Wall Street types, the traders and the large investors are taking sort of a good news is bad news approach, and they're beginning to sell when they see these sorts of good economic numbers come out. Yeah, that's been that's always been the thing about Wall Street that amazes me. You know, you don't want the news to be too good, so it could be, you know, uh, so so if it's a little on the bad side, it's good for interest rates, the whole thing. But let's talk about some of the uh, things that uh, were reported today. For instance, I, I believe we had home uh, sales, correct? Yeah, new home sales. They were up quite nicely, especially when you consider the the poor weather and so much of of the. Uh, north and uh, midwestern parts of the country up about 7.8 percent the best showing in, in in quite a long time for this particular quarter also we had uh con this consumer price index you know reading of inflation coming out and uh, when you consider that energy prices are already low the cpi was up uh, 0.2 percent which is a, a little eyebrow raising and if you exclude energy costs it was also up 0.2 percent so if you look forward and see wages rising which they have been uh, slowly and taking on a higher acceleration in the last couple of quarters i think there may be concern that the federal reserve uh, instead of looking to raise interest rates later this year or perhaps in early 2016 they may put the uh, mid-june interest rate hike back on the table again if the data keeps going as strong as it has been so far. Yeah, now talking about wages, I do believe that a couple of automakers uh, want to uh, lower wages, at least I guess for what, entry level workers? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say lower wages, but right now the, uh, the uh, General Motors and Ford, uh, that are all, all the automakers under the UAW contract, there is a uh, two-tier pay system in place. The base pay is $28 for the first tier, like legacy type workers, and the second tier is $19. The problem, though, is that GM and Ford still have uh, the second and third highest cost to, uh, in terms of labor, uh, with Mercedes-Benz being the only one that's higher than them, about $65 an hour. And so they're looking to lower their wage costs and bring them more in line with their competitors, such as Fiat Chrysler. Do you and think so, they're going to get, I'm sorry to interrupt, Jeff, do you think they're going to get support from the UAW? It's, it remains to be seen. It's interesting. This is the first year for Ford and GM that the UAW workers will have the right to strike based on the intricacies of the contract, and they've been actually boosting up their strike fund. Now, I'm not saying there's going to be a strike, but they're, you know, for a lot of these workers, they really haven't gotten any pay raises for quite a long time owing to all the problems from five, six years ago. So and this third tier would be, I don't know exactly what the price is going to be, but this third tier would be somewhere, I'm guessing, $10, $12 an hour. And very briefly, about 30 seconds, uh, what's going on with DuPont? They want to uh, break it up into uh, smaller companies? Yeah, there's a financier named Nelson Peltz who's been pushing a breakup strategy. The company's saying that they think it's high-risk financial engineering. It's all going to play out May 13th at the annual shareholders All meeting. Right. Well, we'll keep an eye on that, Jeff, and thank you very much. And folks, you can find out more on the financial news by going to Newsmax.com and clicking on the Finance button, which is at the very top of the page. So that's Newsmax.com, and look for that, uh, that Finance button, and uh, you will open up a whole world of financial information. Up next, folks, give me five. Don't go away.